What's up YouTube? Today we're gonna be talking about some of our colubrids. We're moving them up into new racks and we are very excited about it. And one of the reasons that we're excited is because that's right folks, we got cork bark. Ryan's obsession. <laughs> anyway, so stay tuned. $300,000 in cork bark. <laughs> So we have a couple of snakes that are already in this uh, area and we are going to be moving them up to bigger enclosures. The first ones that we got that we're going to be moving over are called Pulcher. So they're an Asian rat snake and um, we're going to move them over real quick. So I'm going to pull them out of their original enclosures. And with these Asian rat snakes, one of the things that you want to do is be very, very calm when you're working with them. And that way, man, she, she's putting size on. This is the female. Um, that way when you're calm, they tend to stay calm, but it is difficult because they get very squirrely. So you open up this bin. Go into your new home, right into the cork bark. Look at that. And she didn't even musk on me. There you no go. Fuss, no musk. No fuss, no musk. So that was good. We are breeding those, they're an adult breeding pair, and they're breeding right now currently. So we had them together. We're gonna separate them for a little while, give them a little break, and I'm gonna grab the mail. Okay. Where did we get those from then? We got those from Matthew Most, who's a good friend of ours and a great guy. Make sure you go check out uh, the YouTube video we have from, Sa I always pronounce it wrong, Sarpa Mitra. Sarpa Mitra? Sarpa Mitra. He's told me like a hundred times. Sorry, Matt. Sarpa Mitra. <laughs> and check out his Instagram, his Facebook, um, and his website. He has all this information on really rare and awesome uh, colubrids, mostly Asian rat snakes and a handful of other things that are just really awesome. And... Oh man, all right, all right, all right. Oh, <laughs> what? He came out the window, that was weird. All right. All right, nice and How's calm. How's he looking? Did he shed? Um, no, the the female shed. She looked real pretty. He's going into shed actually. He was like super gray the other day, so he might be about to shed in like a day or two. Yeah, he's definitely going into shed. Um, the female shed. I only see the one in there. The one shed in there. These been. guys have been locking up for the past month. And so the only way, well, we could pop them, but the way that we are telling is the male has this pretty cool loop-de-loop -loop dot here on the side. I don't know if you guys can see that that well. Band that doesn't connect all the way across. Yep. And uh, these guys are really cool. He's going in the shed, so you saw how red the, the female was. And uh, yeah, really cool animals. These guys, you don't want to get too warm. Um, a lot of these Asian rat snakes can get too warm, so you gotta be careful with them. But um, we're gonna put him into his home and let him get introduced to, that's right, some good old cork bark. See if he goes over to the cork bark as I direct him that way. No, Ryan, he's going behind it. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Darn you! <laughs> All right, let's see what else we can move over. Okay, so. Man, look at her. She is building. This is a female rhino rat snake. Um, look at the nose. Looks real cool. She is hopefully not going to run out of my hands, Roshanya, but she's very beautiful. They start off kind of brownish and then they turn this bright green. When they get older, um, they get these blue speckling in and in between their their scales is a black hint which looks really cool 
uh, when they flex and bend and uh, they're just really awesome animals so she's staying very still for me so I'm gonna keep her nice and calm and we're gonna move her into a new bin so I'm sure she's going to love her cork bark let's put her in nice and gentle See, nice and calm, nice and calm, and they stay, no fuss, no musk. <laughs> it's, good. it's our new catchphrase. That's no a fuss, right there. no musk. That was good. All right, I'm gonna get the mail. So nice and calm. Rhino rat snakes like to hang out in the water. So I'm gonna let him trip off here for a second. Back into the bin, instead of getting everywhere. And uh, so this is the male. He's not as chubby or big around as the female, but uh, still a beautiful animal. They are so cool. One of the top species here at r and Reptiles, we love them. Yeah. And I'm just gonna nice and calm open this bin because I forgot to open it see if he enjoys this so we had them together breeding just like we did the poultry and uh, yeah that's gonna work out if he doesn't go in there <laughs> and so we're gonna separate them right now for a little bit and have them take a little break get something to eat and then we'll put them back together um, yeah maybe I'll change my gloves all right let me grab the next pair So we got some more rhino rat snakes we're gonna move over. So I'm just gonna put these bad boys in. And nice and calm. Oh, that one must me. Just a little bit. <laughs> there. Nice and calm. Another rhino rat snake. Nice and calm. Those look uh, big enough to breed this year. It's, mm, she's close. That male definitely is. But she's close. That was a little jumpy at first, but staying calm. So one of my techniques, because these are very fast runners, is I stay calm like I'm saying, but also I kind of wrap up a lot of their body so it has a lot to feed through so that when it's running it feels like it's still running but it has a long way to go so it makes it real easy for me just to keep it running you can see how I keep my fingers down at the bottom and kind of rewrap a little bit to allow them to feel like they're really running but really they're not going very far she's already burrowing look at her go Real cool. So here we have an E. conspiculata, which is a Japanese forest rat snake. And they also are runners. Um, sometimes they can stay pretty calm, but they, uh, a lot of rat snakes are very inquisitive and also trying to get away from stuff. So. Um, these guys are real beautiful. This is the male. The female is a little bit brighter. Um, but, woo! He's just a really pretty, pretty animal. And again, we got this from Matt over at Serpamitra. Hopefully I said that right. I don't know if I can get him to hold still enough for the camera. But... Beautiful pattern. Maybe the female will be a little bit more calm. Well, let's put him in his bin and see if he likes the, the new digs. All right. Oh, it was anticlimactic. 
He liked it? I don't know. Couldn't see anything. Uh, All right, we'll show the, the female. Open the bins, Ben. So this is the female. She is, looks like she's kind of going into shed. She must on me right away. <laughs> so the musk or the scenting that they do uh, smells really bad, but it's just trying to help get any uh, attackers or um, something that might try to eat it away from them. They shake their tail and they like rattle like a rattlesnake and they just pee a little, really. And it's scented and it stinks. Um, so she's really pretty. We love them. And again, this is an Econspiculata, which is the Japanese forest rat. This is only one locale. Ryan has yet to get the rest of them. And there's several. Honshu locality? This is the Honshu locality. I'm being told as she's trying to get out of my hands. All right, so let's let her go and woo! There she goes. Over that cork bark, checking out her new enclosure. Cool. Jeez, I smell it every time. It's when the guy says, you hey, you should smell it. this. You, you do, I don't know. Ugh. All right, next group. So these are some 2018 pulchers. This one just shed and is looking really good. Um, but these are babies that will be ready to breed next year. They're just a little small still. But man, they're so much bigger than when they're babies. So we're gonna give them a new digs. This one's being nice and calm. Uh, I can't get it to stay in front of the camera. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put it away. If I can get it to go that way. No, this way, look over there. Look over there, ooh, there you go. And digging into the, look at it burrow. Yep, oh, can't see anything. It's my pet rock. I'll grab the female. She'll be able to rub it off on her cork bark. Yeah. So this is uh, the female pulcher. She's running. She was calm just a second ago. Trying to get them in frame is almost impossible. <laughs> I'm trying to stay nice and calm, but why don't we just get her in? She's just like her, the adults that we put away. Just going in, checking out that cork park. And in there with our Pro Coco. Sorry for the bad lighting. We're trying. There's bat lighting? Bat lighting. Does that look like a bat, almost? It's a butterfly, black butterfly. It's a black. <laughs> All right, fine then. <laughs> These ones get a little squirrely, so you gotta stay really, really calm. But these guys are like my favorite of the clearbirds we have. Man, they're, it's very wild. But see how calm I'm just like trying to roll it through. <laughs> He's mostly working with me here. Um, but real pretty, they get very, very red. And uh, Kind of letting him see what he wants to see. He's real squirrely if I try to hold him still for the camera. So, hey, there we go. Latisinctus. It's an Asian rat snake. Just really, really, really pretty animal. All porphyracea. All porphyracea, that's right. So, well, not the <clears throat> rhino rats or conspiculatus, but. All these red ones you're seeing are different types of porphyracea. True. Latisinctus, coxide, pulcher, valenti. We don't have coxide at the moment. We don't have coxide at the moment. Actually, Matt is going to be... Uh, We're working on something. <laughs> he's going to be uh, selling us some. So this might be news to Matt, but... <laughs> All right. Brian, this is, the, this is the girl that just shed. She shed like... 10 minutes ago. This is the one that, when you were looking in the bin earlier, had the shed like sticking up on her head. Crazy. Wow. 
She's unbelievable. Look at this pattern along her back. So vibrant. Just like, like the black lines are like etching back and forth. It just looks so cool. I'm gonna try real hard to not let her go. But again, as Asian rat snakes go, they are very big runners and you can see just staying very, very calm and slow, deliberate movements. They don't like to be restrained. So you can see him always letting him move through his hands. Cause the minute you try to stop them dead, they'll flip out. Yeah. So last thing, this is like my favorite uh, Asian rat snake or one of them. And uh, just because of how pretty they are. Um, just really, really cool animals. So let's let her go into her bin. See if she likes the the new cork bark, the new digs. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> she wants to be on me. Okay, check it out. Oh, digging right into the cor into the prococo. Hey, uh, write me a postcard. All right. Jeez. Look, she's like tremors over here. Just dig. <laughs> Do ah, ah. love to burrow. Yeah, so, all right. We have a couple more, so move over another pair. All right, the next pair of porphyraceous we got are these Valenciae, or Valentii. Um, they're really cool. I know I say that word a lot, but these ones are more of an orange and brown. And, uh, this one's being very calm for me, comparative to how they normally are for me. The Valenciae, for some reason, the pair that we have, seem to really... Valenti. Valenti. Seem to really be wild for us. <laughs> so it was working out really well. But if you can see, I kind of wrap my hand here, again, kind of like I do with the rhino rat snakes. Let them just roll through without stopping them. And uh, they kind of hold still a bit. Hopefully you guys can see that. And uh, yeah, so let's see if they can enjoy their new enclosure. This is the male. This is the male. And looks like they're gonna, he's gonna burrow. <laughs> it's the same as everybody else. Come right under. What am I gonna do? But In nature, they're found under moss sheets a lot. So it's a natural and wait for them to act. That's why I like to give them a deeper substrate so that they can have that option and they normally utilize it. About that deep. <laughs> That's my scientific measurement. I did run out of cork bark for these guys. It's coming in Amazon Prime, don't worry. Amazon Prime, these guys are like stepchildren and live downstairs for some reason, but they're getting cork bark soon. Let me go get the female. All right, Ryan, so Lenti, I, uh, female here. She is shedding right now too. Um, the other one just shed and well the lattice think this and this one's shedding as well. The, I feel like this one only had its nose going just a minute ago. So it's going to really enjoy going underneath the pro cocoa that we have. The coconut husk. And uh, let's let her go and get in there and she'll be shedding out right as we speak. It's pretty cool. Eh, all right, all right. So there we go. I think that's all the Asian rat snakes that we got um, moved over. And uh, yes, yeah, so we're getting some new digs for a few animals and we'll be showing you guys as we go. But that's that. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for staying along with us on these. I know it's not ball pythons, but we do have a lot of other animals aside from just ball pythons. And these are some of our favorites. They're really, really cool animals. And we appreciate you guys watching our video. So if you guys have any questions about any of these animals, or if you had any questions about any rat snake or other colubrid that you think is just really cool, shoot us a comment down below and uh, let us know. And let us know if there's something that you keep that you think that we should talk about or video. Um, we do love a lot of these animals. We love all the animals. <laughs> we love the animals we have, as well as the animals in the world. 
So we really appreciate you guys watching. And if you could do us a favor, hit that subscribe button. Let us know that you guys enjoy watching our videos. And also, if you hit that notification bell, it'll let you know when we post things. Uh, we appreciate everything that you guys do. And thank you so much again for, you know, just being part of our family. Also, we want to thank our friends and family that bought us a coffee. Uh, the last video we had, like, you know, people up here that did or didn't buy us coffees possibly, but then we sold some coffee. So we appreciate that. And we will be drinking tea for me, coffee for Ryan. And uh, thank you so much. And also for any of our Patreon people out there, thank you so much for being a part of our family in Patreon. For more information on that, check out our links below and please ask us questions. So thank you so much. Again, I can't thank you enough. You guys are great. Am I coming in clear? I said, am I coming in clear? Wonka vision. <laughs> Bang! You're dead. Mike TV! All right. Ben, you've had too much sugar today. <laughs> Come Augustus. with me and you'll see. In a world of pure imagination. Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry. Acoustus, save some room for later. <laughs> okay. I used to get that all the time as a kid. As a kid? <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? So I would try to hold the camera. Uh, <laughs> I have a gimbal. That's true. Can't make me laugh. We need that. Okay. And this video is sponsored by Germex hand sanitizers. We sure love it. <laughs> uh, how are you supposed to eat it? <laughs> what do I do with it? <laughs> you will have the freshest breath. I'm fresh to death. It's alcohol, so you'll probably get drunk. I think that people do drink this stuff, but mm. it's not suggested. It's got aloe in it, so it's good for a sore throat. <laughs> There's some logic to that. Don't I suppose. drink Germex, guys. Don't drink Germex. <laughs> Disclaimer: I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thanks, Bob Vu. <laughs> and the random Bob Vu. Thank you. <laughs> Love you in rush hour. Okay. <clears throat>